This is Artist Diaries in Scott's studio this week, and he always has a whole bunch of, of paintings just kind of sitting around. These are paintings he's done from life, from trips, you know, maybe in future vlogs we'll talk about them. And then I thought it'd be fun to like just go into a studio and just say, okay, open a sketchbook, pull out a painting. Let's, you know, talk about that trip. This is uh, the beautiful painting of Maya that he did, and um, I guess I'm going to say it, he got into the Portrait Society. So this painting will be is one of the finalists. That will be in Atlanta. And you'll see, he he did a video. You did a video, right? Yeah, I haven't edited it yet. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I did that one in progress, so it will so, be on Patreon. Yeah, so that video will be on future Patreon. This is um, one of the paintings. He still has a teensy spit to do, but it's, he keeps these paintings out so that he can look at them. It's, it's a little bit too contrasty in the video. But, um, if you zoom in on the face, it'll get a little better. Get a little it's bit better. Dark, I think. Let's okay, do. let's see. Yeah, it's video cameras. Zoom way in on the face, it'll get light, it'll get dark. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, it's, I wanted to show a little bit of these kind of designs that he's doing in the background that it's hard to see. You can't really see. It unless... needs to be retouched varnish, so that's why. Yeah. But, I yeah. also film that one. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, you're filming a lot. Not yeah. everything you do, but you're filming a lot. And yeah. So, packing materials. He just packed up. Oh, my God, look at all these stretcher bars. Trying to figure yes. out... We moved a big armoire from his studio into my studio, and the armoire was filled with art supplies. So now we have to figure out where to put. Yeah. Okay. We do, yeah. There's we do. Scott. <laughs> That's me. And this is his kind of his little section. And this was the painting that if you saw in my first vlog that he was working on, um, he finally got all the white done. And I, I'm not exactly sure, but I think you w would work on this for close well, to two weeks I think we've done it three weeks so far, yeah. Three weeks. And I have another week, I think. Wait, okay, so explain to people why you think you need another three weeks on this. No, no. Or week. another another week? Uh, well, I, I'm going to let this dry, and then I have uh, some details to do, but also a lot of texture things. Okay, and but to it... to balance colors, to do some dry brush over it. It already really looks very thick. So right. why does it need to be thicker? <laughs> you zoom in on this this part here. That's the only one I've started to do that with. You can see the layers. Really zoom in on oh, this okay. little feather here. Okay. So you can see all the layers. I can't laugh and do the video camera at the same so, time. So yeah, no, I want things to have a little more texture and unity. Like but Scott, areas like me, this here this are looks... very bright red by itself. And so as I then add some detail and I dry brush over it, I'm going to start to unify a few of the areas. Okay, but I mean, yeah. it already, I, okay. It, see, it's funny because like a, uh, anybody who's looking at this would say, I see five layers of paint. And well, I it's it very, very thick when I did it, but I didn't actually do dry brushing layers. So you're saying paint. that you actually need to do <laughs> dry brush yeah, like on top of the all of this. <laughs> like if you look at these areas, it's it's subtle. But like areas like this are just very red okay. and very brown. Okay. And so I may dry brush something that's maybe in between the two and start to pull some of these together a little bit. So someone that, like me who's a yeah. thin painter is hard. To, so you, you kind of paint, you do paint and then you scratch through it. So that that line in that feather is just like you using your palette knife and just kind of scratching in the paint too. It'll <laughs> soften some of the edges. It'll unify things. And then oh, there's some colors okay. that I'll soften. Uh, some colors I want to make sure they don't become isolated. I already oh. did that a little bit. Like with this was the only green uh -huh. in my photograph, and um, so then I, I repeated it in these oh, areas right. here Balance. so that it it repeats. And I put a little bit down here. Otherwise, it's only just right there. Uh, there's a few other places that I All right, need to tell them how many tubes of big tubes of white. So this is like a big tube. These are so my white. Well, just say that size, right? Yeah. That size. You've used three tubes I've already. I've used three tubes of white so far. Yeah, this is my fourth, my third tube. I think that's already almost gone. So, so I'll, I'll probably be using even at least just another the amount tube. of paint that you use in a painting is ridiculous. This is my palette with. Uh, I, uh, from working out yesterday. Heck? So as I paint, these are the paint <laughs> colors I lay out, just basic colors, but as I paint, I don't want to waste cup paint because I use so much, so I'll scrape kind of the yellows together. Uh, uh, these are piles that are gray piles here. 
this here blue is a gray pile but then I run out of room on the palette so I've added other I'll put other gray piles over here well which and then you I'll have pin into. bigger versions of this so I'm not quite sure why you don't use the bigger version well I just go off onto these because this this is one I travel with yeah. I'll take so this is kind of convenient I just put this in my backpack and I can go off so, so you just yeah. it's like you're comfortable with this palette even yeah. though you might have a bigger one well, it fits comfortably in my travel things. No, if I was I only working it. in the studio, I might okay. just use the big one, but then i got to transfer the paint to the travel okay. one. So okay. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it, it gets me to clean my palette off. And All right, so anyways, this vlog was not about me making fun of you and how <laughs> thick you paint, even though I, it gives me anxiety a little bit to look at this painting. And then for you to tell me that you are going to keep painting on it and that somehow you keep painting on it is going to make it better because it's it shocking okay so you guys in the future vlogs we will see if you can <laughs> tell the difference uh, okay all right so i thought it would be fun oh ooh, tell them whose drawing that is oh this is one of my drawings it's thanks to sue they had asked her to do a drawing for the strathmore things years ago and then they asked her to suggest someone else, and <laughs> yeah. so she suggested me. So I'm just because of Sue. Right. So this is one of the ones I did of a Navajo man on, on the Navajo reservation near Monument Valley. So they use this for one of the toned Yeah, and you ones. have another, You this is like a beige paper, like a tan. And then right. there's another pad where you have another drawing of a woman. This one is a little bit right. more of a warmer, mm -hmm. a warmer tone here. And um, the other one is a cooler tone. So, um, so I just thought it would be fun in some of so these yeah. di artist diaries to kind of just, like I opened that drawer in my studio and was like, I hadn't, didn't even know what was going to be in there. A lot of I these thought. are before COVID when we would go and do like a, a session at David oh, Simpson's. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, Scott, you could put a frame on that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, I mean, that's what's so funny is like he does these drawings and they're never to be seen again. They're usually, but... they're about three hours. This is actually of Rose. Yeah, no, this is one of our favorite models. Rose. Yeah, and uh, so I've got lots of these pads, though, lots of these. Uh, she's a wonderful model, Tangerine. Oh my God, her, so she goes by Tangie. And she Tangie, and she 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 posed at David's for us as well. This was done at David's. Uh, yeah, so David Judy's. is like a friend of ours who doesn't live too far, and he had a studio where you had models once every Sunday. Right. And this was a fun girl. She was just, she just, I was, when I was writing, I was going almost every day to the coffee shop and she worked at the coffee shop, uh, which is closed now, but uh, in Winston. So I had her, she's an artist. And so I had her post for our Sunday group too. But these are just so fun. The charcoals are just so fun to do. See, and I, so you know quick. what, I goes so fast. So I never went to these because I wanted Scott to have something of his own. And usually when we have model sessions, I take charge. Oh, this is um, our niece, Willow. So she came to visit us, I think, was it last 2019. Summer? Oh, 2019. And Time so she posed yeah. for us. Yeah. yeah but in general, so I don't get to see all the things that he has. Ooh, you can talk about this. This was a, a study for, I really rarely do portrait commissions, but she was a really wonderful person who I knew and is the uh, dean of the, uh, first woman dean of the uh, Wasn't she retiring? Wake Forest uh, Law um Mm -hmm. law department and she was retiring so they asked me to do a portrait of her so i i did some charcoal drawings um of her and this is hung and, at wake and, forest university yeah, the, the oil painting she has pictures of my angelou and different famous uh, people in her office so i took photographs of her and then i worked up a sketch i like to get the profile mm -hmm. uh, but um and this is another one this from, is our friend donna's granddaughter Yep, Helen. So Donna has all these grandchildren, and you were getting all of them to come and pose for your Sunday thing. Yeah. Ooh, this is the model that you just posted on Patreon of how to the profile change a background mm -hmm. and use imagination. So she, you, she used to pose for your life. She lives in Germantown, well, and she's she a photographer, a great to photographer. Wear really heavy makeup. Really kind I, of goth. -like. It's really she hard loves to paint. That. Yeah, it's. I hard. thought it was kind of fun. Well, but I yeah, I took I like one it. of the paintings I, <laughs> I mean, did. Of I don't her. like to paint. Not that I don't like it on people, I think it's but fun. when you paint somebody with really, really heavy makeup, it's hard. Kelsey. I've never seen these drawings before. This is also from David. Oh, she's sweet. So yeah, oh, that's this David. Is David. <laughs> that's David Simpson. <laughs> well, the model didn't show up one day, so we yeah. had him pose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, it's fun. Trailer. It's fun for me to like. Ooh, Latissa. Latissa, yeah. This was in my studio here. Oh. I had her pose here. We painted her from yeah, 20 years no, ago. We've met. Her. Oh, Sarah. 
Sarah, yep, she's a wonderful model. Yeah, we've done many paintings of Sarah. A lot of these, like this one I did, I had po had her pose for two days for a painting that I did of her. And uh, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I had her for like three or four hours each day. And so I finished the painting and so I had another hour and a half. And so I did this as a quick drawing of her uh, in that extra time that we had. That was 2017. Yeah, and so she has uh, oh, a... That's, that's also of Latissa. She's a wonderful artist, too, by the way. Really yeah, great, Yeah, really great interesting artist. lady. Oh. This is from, uh, this is from uh, Oklahoma. This is uh, one of the girls, Serena, who I've painted and done a few paintings of her since she was 14, and she posed for me at the Prix de West for a demo one, that one time there. Yeah, and then I did this at her grandmother's her. house while Sue was doing a workshop. I went over there two or three days, and I did drawings of her and uh, photographs, uh, which I've done some paintings of her for the Prix de West. Well, this That's is fun. Awesome. I love the fact that That's we're going to just go through did. different sketchbooks. Of Serena, just in her grandmother's house. Yeah. So, those so you kind of use, wait, so charcoal, like vine charcoal, mm -hmm. and then you also use like the white charcoal pencil, like, you know. It's just a chalk. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a like, chalk. Yeah, oh, okay. it's just the chalk. And, uh, that's what's nice about these tones is it's when you're doing quick ones you don't have to try and build up yeah. a lot of tone you can just do kind of the the darkers and then the lights and uh, so it's kind of a I, I like this well thank you so much sure. for showing us your sketch pad and sure. for talking about this powwow painting sure. um you'll get to see it in progress and you'll be able mm -hmm. to tell if he did anything <laughs> or... <laughs> this is like the life of a working artist so you see mess and you see paintings and you see packing stuff but um okay yep. until uh next time thanks for visiting my studio okay bye-bye <laughs>